So we're creating a decentralized let's uh, using Ripple Trust Networks. Local exchange trading networks, or LETs, have been used successfully around the world for many years to create local service-backed trade currencies. Traditionally, people utilize a clearinghouse, a central clearinghouse. A hawala is used in Arabic countries because they're not allowed to do interest rates in uh, many Arabic countries. Uh, banks or time banks uh, to make this happen. So in this presentation, you'll learn how to use new technology, Ripple, to create peer-to-peer -peer webs of trust, enabling the creation of lets in a decentralized way with no central point of control. Um, so time banks are used all over the world, uh, and there's many, many of them, very active and very successful uh, um, in California, on the East Coast. Uh, I think in California, there's over a hundred different time banks. So that those are LETS systems, lo local exchange trading networks that are centralized. Basically, there's just a clearinghouse, and they keep track of the checks and balances of everybody involved for them. Of course, there's uh, an issue there of centralization. You know, what happens if uh, a government comes in and says you can't do this anymore? Then they can't do it anymore. It's just as simple as that. Uh, or the people that are running the servers, what happens if they start manipulating numbers? Then, you know, it makes the whole system kind of go defunct. Or if uh, the people running the system disappear, then the whole community is at a loss, doesn't have this uh, system uh, working anymore. So this is, a <clears throat> this is a technique to create a LETS system, a local exchange trading, si trading network. Uh, without having a central, uh, central point of control. So this is a peer-to-peer -peer system. A trust network, or web of trust, is a network of people who trust each other. We already have trust networks in our, in our real lives, but by using a social network to define the trust connections we have, it creates pathways of trust, linking people who would not necessarily know each other. These pathways interconnect to create a, create a web. Uh, Ripple is new decentralized technology that can be used to create trust networks. And there's a little information on Wikipedia about web of trust, graph theory, and shortest path problem, which is how uh, payments are routed through the network. A little bit about local exchange trading systems. So from Wikipedia, they say, this typically involves keeping track of each individual's credit or debit balance. Although the effect is like a loan, no interest is charged. And since mutual credit allows for trading and canceling balances with, with others, debts can be paid off indirectly, which means you don't have to do direct trades with people. If, uh, you have apples and I have oranges, you don't want oranges, you can still trade me for those oranges. It's just an IOU for your apples to someone else in the network. With a web of trust, uh, trusted members can trade IOUs interchangeably. So reputation. Uh, personal reputation, integrity, and trust are the foundation of this system. Because people are connecting with peers, a real sense of obligation is present because you're connecting to the person next to you. This is a real person. It's not an organization. It's not a bank. This is your friend. This is your neighbor. These are your peers. It is much safer to work and collaborate with people that, that we know we can trust. It is helpful to write reviews about people and their services. So this is great for local economies. A trusted individual, business, or organization-backed currency is able to be created when needed. Abundant and intrinsically valuable it encourages community interaction and cooperation instead of competition. And with a value measurement unit like ours, it is not tied to the U.S. dollar or other scarce money, making it a resilient and secure store of value. Again, you can do let's systems with any currency, whether it be U.S. dollars, uh, silver, or ours. It's up to you. It, uh, I like ours because they're 
intrinsically valuable and they're abundant, unlike most other currencies that people use. Ripple Protocol is a new distributed open source wallet software developed by Ripple Labs. Ripple Platform is a currency agnostic system, mean it can, mean, meaning it can be used with any type of IOU, like US dollar, uh, CNY, it's Chinese, um, Bitcoin, or gold. In, in our system, we're using ours. And it's important to understand that whether your money is in a bank or whatever currency it is, it's an IOU. That's all, like all the money that we use, it's all IOUs. So, I mean, these are just other IOUs issued by other, whoever wants to issue them, basically. Ripple is, a, is private and secure with a public ledger. It is not linked to your identity unless you publish it. And you are the only person with access to your wallet using uh, private key, public key uh, encryption style techniques. Uh, trust networks are one of many uses for this decentralized technology. So some of the features of Ripple include trust networks, uh, sending money internationally with very low fees, using gateways, foreign exchange speculation, trading stocks and commodities, smart property, uh, which would be like issuing land onto the uh, protocol, ownership of land, transferring ownership, because it's all just contracts. Uh, smart contracts, which would be like contracts that change over time. Gift certificates and similar currencies. So anybody can create a gift certificate uh, or any company or very easily, you know, it's just property rights and they can be transferred anywhere uh, instantly. Peer-to-peer -peer lines of credit. So instead of uh, having your line of cre credit centralized to a bank, it could be through your peer-to-peer uh, -peer network, through your, through your actual community. And uh, based on how much your community trusts you, instead of how much uh, your bank trusts you. Uh, another way is another use is peer-to-peer -peer insurance and community funds. So uh, use at PeerCover.com. They're offering all kinds of uh, uh, I guess autonomous agents uh, binded by contracts uh, to allow people to put aside a little bit of money every every month. And lots of people crowdfund their money uh, for different uh, causes, whether it be uh, a fire brigade or um, health insurance. You can do all that kind of thing with it. And it's always, evol always evolving. It's open source software, so any if anybody has an idea, they can implement it. You just, you just create it and do it. It's uh, pretty straightforward. So XRP, Ripples. So Ripples uh, are the native currency of the Ripple software. Uh, it is not an IOU. It's the only currency in Ripple, in the Ripple system that's not an IOU. Uh, Ripples are used to trade between different currencies and between different uh, webs of trust. So if you don't trust someone, you can still send them payments even if they're not in your trust network using the XRP. So a very small amount of ripples are destroyed in every transaction to prevent spam. I think that's like 0.001 ripple is destroyed for every transaction, which is very minuscule. Uh, and it's destroyed, it's not given to any party. Uh, the price of ripple, of ripples, XRP, change based on speculation. Right now, one XRP is about 1.3 cents. XRP can be used anywhere that accept Bitcoin through what's called a Bitcoin bridge. So right now you can purchase things anywhere that accepts Bitcoin, Overstock, Overstock.com, TigerDirect.com, Gift.com. And with Gift, you can buy gift cards for Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Whole Foods, Target, and Walmart. It is not required to use more than a very small reserve of XRP in the system. You don't have to use XRP to use Ripple system. You can use any currency you want. 
So creating a let's using Ripple. So these are the steps. You would create a Ripple wallet, fund your Ripple wallet with a reserve of, of Ripples, which I'll get to, establish your lines of trust, make a profile on weboftrust.net marketplace, or you can create your own local marketplace if you want to. Um, that web of trust is what we are creating here, and hopefully, and we'll create it so it's accessible for the general public in the future. Uh, post ads for what you offer and what is useful to you, and issue valuable credit for services you need, and balance your credit by helping others. It's easy to create a Ripple wallet. Uh, there's the link. Because it's decentralized software, you have to save your password and secret key, uh, and you cannot it cannot be retrieved. And this is one uh, issue uh, with the Ripple system and webs of trust. Uh, but we'll see how that unfolds. Because if you lose your key, then you have to recreate all your trust connections, and people might not trust you as much if uh, you know you're not not good with your security, for example, uh, which uh, we'll see how that plays out in our local community. Um, that you know, this is new technology and ultimately is it is an experiment. So to use the software you need a reserve of 20 XRP in your wallet. If you don't have 20 XRP in your wallet you can't use the software at all. An extra 5 XRP are required for every trust connection that you make. You can buy XRP online, uh, receive them from a friend, me, if any of you want to sign up and experiment, just send me uh, your Ripple address. I'm happy to send you 20 XRP. It's only 25 cents for me. It's not a big deal. Um, or you can contribute your computer's processing power uh, to science via computingforgood.org. And in exchange for uh, offering your computer's processing power, you... Uh, uh, Ripple Labs will give you XRP. Once your wallet has the required reserves, you can then purchase XRP from people in your web of trust using the Ripple client. So right now people that are in my web of trust for hours can trade their hours with me for Ripples right now. And so essentially they can purchase things at Target or Whole Foods using their hours. So that is that's pretty incredible already. It's already set up. You can go to Walmart <laughs> and <laughs> use your hours, although we'll be discouraging people from, you know, taking the hours out of the community if possible. So you can learn more about how XRP are distributed at, at the, on Ripple Labs website. So, you know, it's pretty straightforward issuing trust with Ripple. You know, input the address or their, or their name in your contact list how much you want to trust them, and the unit of measurement that you're going to trust them in. In our case, we're doing hours, but you can do USD, CNY, Bitcoin, gold. Uh, there's even a forever postage stamp backed Ripple currency, which is a very interesting concept. So it's investing in a forever postage stamp. So it's investing in the postal industry instead of in the US dollar, kind of. Or, or investing in uh, thinking that the postage stamps will go up in value over time, which I think they probably will. And grant trust. So, so once you establish a line of trust, and it's just that easy, now as you see you have a positive five hour balance, or uh, trust align with your friend here, and make sure that your friend creates a line of trust to you, creating a negative five hour and plus five hour. That way you can exchange back and forth. Plus, minus. If I was to give you an IOU for two hours, uh, Professor Foster, you would have a positive two hour balance and I would have a negative two hour balance. And I have that obligation to get back to zero and uh, you can use that two hours of my IOU with anyone else in our trust network. So as your friends create lines of trust with others, this creates pathways and IOUs can be routed through your trusted friends to people that you don't know yet. As these pathways interconnect and create a web, IOUs can be traded interchangeably. 
When more trusted peers join your web, it adds value to everyone's IOUs. So, uh, so Professor Foster, if you join my uh, web of trust, I invite you to, because uh, you, you are a valuable asset to our money. You think? Okay. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I, might, I might be wrong, but I th no, I, everybody is a valuable asset to our, to our uh, money, whether they have advanced skills or not. So, uh, the marketplace. So, a digital and potentially physical marketplace is an essential part of collaborating with community. Trusted members share what they offer and what they are in need of. Uh, people can feel safe offering services to people that they trust. People can feel safe hiring people that they trust. A marketplace is a place to write and re read reviews about people and their services. So, weboftrust.net. In Puna, on the big island of Hawaii, we are creating a digital marketplace integrated with the Ripple network. Although it's not specifically local, you can set privacy options to only share your ads with people you trust and only see ads of those you trust. You can filter posts by user, trust level, location, search, categories, which are like offer, offering, needing, learn, teach, sell, rent, lend, or share, and tags, which would be like food, food services, products, tools, transport, healing, whatever. Right now, webtrust.net is still in development, but can only be accessed and utilized by the Puna community with a special password. This is a valuable tool for our community. Now we can create our own abundant currency and collaborate more easily with our trusted network of peers. These types of networks are not bound by location, but have the potential to strengthen our local communities and help us to be more abundant, sovereign, and sustainable. So let's thrive together. Thank you. And you all can find me on Twitter, dlevy2013, if uh, you want to ask me questions or anything like that. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. Learn about currencies by making games. You can't. Well, I mean, you know, money is kind of a game, honestly, if you look at it and uh, look at our social networks and look at how we interact with community. That's uh, kind of how I think of it all. Of, of life in general. Life is kind of like that, you know, it's all just numbers and time and playing your cards right. <laughs> uh, okay. um, I just had a question about the difference between Ripple Pay and like, Ripple XRP. Like, what is the difference? Mm -hmm. um, I, know that, I know Ripple Pay, you can create your own community currencies, but can you do that with the new Ripple protocol with the XRP system as well? Or was that all Definitely, yeah. The new, the new Ripple, the new Ripple with XRP is an upgrade from the old from the uh, old version. Uh, RipplePay.com or Classic.RipplePay.com is the original implementation of Ripple, and it is on a centralized server. Um, whereas uh, Ripple.com, um, Ripple Labs created a new version of it that works in a decentralized way. Uh, so it's not central to any one server. You can host. A Ripple node on your own server. How, how, how many how many hours to buy a week uh, um, a, a place to stay for a week in your community in Hawaii on the Big Island? Oh well, I don't know yet. We'd have to discuss that. Uh, you and I, we do have a. Uh, I do live at a a place where we have uh, vacation rentals available, and if people want to pay in hours, I think that we can work that out just fine. Um, the trade rate for hours is uh, is about ten dollars per hour, and people can uh, view them in that light, or they can do equal exchange. They can charge two hours, hour units per hour of their time if they want to, or as a doctor, maybe you want to charge three hours of someone's time for an hour of your time, or or more. As a CEO or something, if you're going to ask somebody for you know, you know, five hundred hours of their time for one of for one of theirs, I would think, you know, I, I think the hour system gives uh, a lot more transparency. 
<laughs> I think the hour system gives a lot more transparency to that whole network and seeing that the imbalance. How long have you been running Ripple? Well, I, I'll say that I've been using um, the centralized versions of Ripple for about uh, since they were created, uh, like four or five years ago. Uh, mostly I've been using villages.cc. So villages.cc is a community focused version of Ripple that is only for exchanging hours and it includes a marketplace. I was considering to you to um, introduce uh, Ripple using villages.cc to my community because uh, there's no active marketplace for Ripple Labs implementation at this time uh, but we decided uh, we'll just create we'll just create a marketplace for our community and uh, share the newer technology that's more secure. But I've been using villages.cc for a few years and I have over 350 people in my trust network on villages.cc uh, and those people are all over the world. One of the concerns of sharing the new technology with my community was just confusion over what are these XRP, you know, uh, you know, why is this technology, you know, this is, looks like it's for international transfers, not for local community building. Uh, Ripple Labs is really promoting Ripple for international transfers, not for local communities. But using it for Let's type systems is a obvious byproduct of this software. And can you use these from a cell phone app on uh, both a uh, uh, Android and a uh, iOS? Uh, right now, there's no app. Uh, there is an app for Android, but it's not very good. It was. Uh, privately created, but I know that Ripple Labs does have an Android developer working for them. Uh, and Apple uh, ha does not allow um, apps of that um, are able to transfer Bitcoins, I guess. Uh, they have some policy against Bitcoin altogether. So there's no apps for Bitcoin on Apple's uh, iOS, and there's no, and I would think that applies to Ripple as well, unfortunately. But they do have a okay. uh, very good responsive website. So you can go to their website on Android or iPhone, and, and it's fully functional uh, through their website. Have you thought, Daniel, of writing your own Android app? Um, I, that wouldn't be my place. I know that Ripple Labs is working on it. They have a team of over 40 developers, and they're very well financed. All top end all top end developers. I'll wait for them to create one that's secure and uh, has a really, you know, good UI. Another, another, another question, um, Mark Andreessen. One of one of the students wrote a very interesting paper on Mark Andreessen's endgame: Bitcoin or Ripple. Uh huh. What's your opinion? Well, I think uh, the two systems are complementary. Um, uh, right now, it seems like Bitcoin has the first. Uh, the first market advantage, and people are already implementing uh, Bitcoin-based payment uh, processors, and it has a huge open-source um, community, based community uh, surrounding it. Uh, so, and and really, it's just educating people that there are um, other ways to exchange resources, and educating people about peer-to-peer -peer decentralized networks. I think the systems are complementary. Uh, XR XRP are kind of can be seen as a business model, um, whereas Bitcoin is a um, autonomous system. Uh, I think there's a potential for a autonomous um, Ripple platform to be developed in the future, but right now I see Ripple Labs having the most um, the best reputation and the first mover advantage, I think they have a uh, very good potential, uh, the uh, Ripple Labs does. Uh, but the Ripples are a centralized unit. They're essentially issued, they're essentially um, distributed by Ripple Labs. So that's uh, a potential um, negative marker on, or, you know, just comparing the two, you know. Uh, they have very different uh, software development uh, structures basically and with Bitcoin it's anyone in the world everyone in the world kind of competing to create the best software with Ripple Labs they have a dedicated focused team working 
you know, 40 hours a week uh, on very specific projects maintained in a traditional business plan.